Welcome Aries, welcome back, welcome back. I'm happy to be back here with you guys. Let's take a look, all right? This energy is going to be for whenever, you know, it's needed. Whenever you see it, that's when you're meant to see it, okay? This is um, a general read, so take what applies and leave what does not apply to you. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to click the bell to subscribe. And if this message resonated with you, you can purchase the extended version to go deeper into details, or you can purchase your own very um, your very own personal reading. All right, so let's go into it. Let's get this started. All right, so let's get an overall energy first. Let's get an overall energy for Aries, please. It's too many cards. <laughs> Give me an overall energy for Aries, please. Okay, so, so are some of you guys turning down an offer? We got the Knight of Cups and the reverse and the Four of Wands, okay? Is there some type of invitation, a celebration, a reunion, uh, even a proposal? Are some of you guys turning down something, an uh, offer, okay? The Four of Wands is celebration, is stability, um, home life, marriage, um, welcoming welcoming something it's like very welcoming energy but the knight of cups is saying you know i don't want that offer i'm i'm gonna you know turn that offer down okay so what's going on aries what's going on at the bottom of the deck we got the seven of pentacles somebody's waiting on someone to ask is someone waiting on a proposal are you guys waiting on some type of proposal okay from a king of wands leo sagittarius like yourself Okay, or a Capricorn, you're wanting them to pick up the pace because they've been moving so slow. Okay, so it's like, you know, maybe you weren't ready in the past or they, you know, weren't, re weren't ready, but someone is now ready for someone to pick up the pace. Okay, yeah, someone is now ready for that offer. Someone is ready for some type of proposal or something in that nature. Sorry about that. Okay, so if someone's, I feel like you guys may be waiting on something, okay, something big. You're waiting on something big, something big. It could be involving stability. It could be involving a marriage proposal. It could be waiting to be invited to something, you know, something to that nature. I feel like you guys are waiting on someone to invite you or include you in something. Something to that nature is what I'm getting, okay? Something big. I'm feeling like this is something big, okay? This is something big, okay? Why the Three of Swords wanted in the reverse wanted to show up, okay? So maybe some of you guys are coming out of a breakup or there was a past breakup that you are now healed from or have gotten over. All right, let's see. Show me past energy, please, for Aries. I need to see what, what happened, what was going on. Show me past energy for Aries, please. Past energy, please. What's the past energy for Aries? Thank you. All right, so we got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so someone's putting forth some type of effort to communicate or be honest, okay? Someone is pouring out their feelings, okay? Someone is pouring out their emotions now, okay? They're, they they want to put in the effort. Okay, they don't want to be blunt or cold or standoffish anymore. Okay, someone is going to say that they're going to take action towards you and apologize. I'm getting an apology for something that they did in the past. Somebody may have, oh, somebody possibly got caught being sneaky, okay? But they're saying that they're done with that. They're saying that they're done. They're, they're dropping their swords, okay? They're dropping their swords. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna leave that right here. So they're putting in they're putting in effort now. Okay, give me another, give me something else for Aries for past energy, please. Oh. 
okay, five of cups, okay, in the reverse, all right. So, yeah, they're regretting something. They're regretting that something did not work out, okay. They weren't being cooperative with you before, and now, once again, they're releasing their feelings. They're letting you know they're pouring their, <laughs> they're pouring their emotions out to you, okay. Yeah, somebody got caught being sneaky. Most definitely, somebody got caught, okay, and they're done. They're saying that they're done with that now. All right, so let's get some present energy, okay? Let's get present energy. Aries, this could be you doing this or someone is doing this towards you. But someone definitely is like, okay, well, if you want to be with me, I'm getting like somebody is saying, prove it. Let's take things to the next level, okay? Why haven't I gotten that ring yet? Why haven't I gotten that proposal yet? Why haven't, why aren't I engaged? Why aren't we engaged yet? Why aren't we taking things to the next level here? Okay. Give me present energy for Aries. Give me present energy for Aries. Okay, we got the moon in reverse, okay? So you could be dealing with a Pisces, okay? Or something here is most definitely hidden, okay? But I feel like maybe you don't feel like this person is lying to you anymore, okay? You feel like they are really putting in the effort to cut off some things from the past, okay, that they have done, okay? You're seeing a better side to them, okay? Let's see, why is the moon reversed here? The star card, you could be dealing with an Aquarius and temperance in reverse. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. But you're hoping that, you're hoping that they've uh, had a long time, you know, had the period of time to think about what they've done, okay? Karma may have caught up to them, okay? Yeah, I feel like... You're hoping that they that they are changed, okay? That these secrets that they have or had, you know, are over with. Why is the moon here in reverse? Ace of Pentacles. An uh, opportunity is on the table. An uh, opportunity is on the table, okay? Someone wants a second chance because there is unfinished business, okay? There's unfinished business. Somebody's been giving somebody some money too, okay? But somebody just, somebody, <laughs> somebody's testing someone's strength to see if they're going to walk away, okay? Because there's someone is definitely having regrets. But, uh, okay, four of wands. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You got the king of wands, queen of wands, and the four of wands. For some of you guys, and I don't really like using like twin flame or soulmate. A lot of times I don't really don't like using that because I don't want people to think that someone's their soulmate or their twin flame and, you know, are hanging on to people when they should be letting go. But this is definitely like a, a match, okay? A match, a happy family. Um, you know, I just feel like for some of you guys, you feel like this could be your soulmate or vice versa, okay? Somebody's definitely regretting something that they did from the past, okay? Definitely. Let's look into future energy, okay? Future energy. Please give me future energy for Aries, please. We got the Queen of Swords in reverse. Oh, okay. So you cutting people. You you at people's neck, okay? People got to watch what they say. You tired of holding back what you want to say. You ready to let it out. Okay, why is the Queen of Swords here? You could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Mm, King of Pentacles. You had somebody's throat about some man, okay? But guess what? This man possibly is worth the, you know, he got the pentacle, he got the bag. But does he treat you right, though? Okay, this guy that you, I feel like, you had somebody's throat about some, some, somebody here. He got the bag. He's fine as hell and he got the bag. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Okay. Final decision. Somebody's waiting on somebody to make a final decision about being together committed. Okay. Are we going to leave the past in the past? 
because I feel like some of you guys may have been searching for a while for the truth, okay? And I feel like you you don't want to give up on this either. Why is the judgment card here? Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands. Okay, this is communication coming in. Somebody, but somebody got to make a, a decision fast. Maybe you want somebody to go ahead and make this decision. It's like you better make up your mind now. Okay, let your guard down. Okay. Hmm. Y'all not playing with somebody. It's like, do right. You're going to do right. You're going to do right. You're going to do right. <laughs> All right. So let me get some. Let's see what message we have for Aries here. What message is there for Aries? What message do we have for Aries? Council of Light. Divine orchestration. Help us in the subtle realms. Okay. So this is divinely orchestrated. Okay. What is not aligned or needs to change? It's time to align your life. Make sure that you're in alignment to receive the blessings that you want, okay, into your life, all right? I feel like this is divinely orchestrated. Things that things happen this way for a specific reason, okay? Share your voice. Come out of the cave. It's time for you to open up and express yourself, okay? And show that warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling, all right? It's time for you to come out of that shell and speak your truth, speak what your demands, what you want, take action. Um, yeah, and that's what it is right now. Aries, I feel y'all most definitely. If you want to see how this person feels about you, you can book the extended version. That information will be in the drop box below. If you would like to book your very own personal reading, that information to contact me will be in the drop box below as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. And until next time, peace.